Hi friends, today we're gonna to be making some breakfast sausage and it's going to be the Jimmy Dean copycat sausage. That's our very favorite sausage. Um, I got this uh, ground pork for a dollar sixty, and it is a pound of uh, ground pork. So I bought it up because that was an awesome deal, and so I'm going to be making the sausage with it. I'm going to be making the hot sausage and the regular sausage. We like the hot sausage, but we also like the regular sausage too for like gravies and stuff like that. Okay, so it's super easy. We're just going to, let me get my knife. So I'm gonna open up both of these. And we're going to do one in one bowl and one in the other. $1.60 was a good deal, I just couldn't pass it up. Okay, so that one and that one. do that one and this one okay so we're going to do the hot first and um, we'll do the hot in the green bowl okay let me move you down so you can see me really really good without chopping my head off yeah okay so for the hot this is super easy do not be intimidated and it's mainly um spices that you already have okay so the first thing we're going to do is one teaspoon of salt. Okay, one teaspoon of salt. And this is a, there you go, one teaspoon right there. And then everything else in the hot one is a fourth of a teaspoon. So just, just do that one spoon. So we're going to do cayenne pepper, one teaspoon or, or uh, one fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper there you go i'm just going to use the same one and just kind of rub it off as i go what happened to my rag right at this um one fourth teaspoon of rubbed sage i love sage one fourth teaspoon of rubbed sage. Mm. One fourth teaspoon of ground black pepper. And I'm using the coarse just because that's what I like, okay? If you don't have the coarse, that's perfectly fine. Okay, there you got your pepper. And then we're going to do one fourth teaspoon of the crushed red pepper. Those are the ones that have the little seed, you know, the little seeds. So one fourth of that. Okay, and then one fourth teaspoon of ground coriander. This might be a spice you don't use much, but it is one that you do want to have in your cabinet. Okay, one four teaspoon of that. And then optional is uh, one four teaspoon of the accent and that's just the MSG. I'm going to opt out of that just because we don't want to use an MSG. So we're going to mix this together really, really, really good. And then we're gonna let it rest for about um, 15 minutes or so and let all of those flavors just mix together before we do it, the next thing with it. Just mix and mix and mix and mix, okay? You want all of it everywhere. I'm gonna mix this for about, probably about one or two minutes and I'll be back. Okay, I've mixed this really, really good. So now I'm going to let it just kind of rest for about 15 minutes to get all of those spices incorporated. And we will start 
our regular copycat Jimmy Dean sausage. Now this one does uh, call for a little bit uh, different um, spices, kind of like uh, parsley and, and thyme. So, but it uh, still really easy, most mainly one fourth of a teaspoon. We're gonna start off with one half teaspoon of our salt. Okay, just like last time. And then we're gonna do one fourth teaspoon of dried parsley. Dried parsley. I got this parsley at TJ Maxx. If you have a TJ Maxx in your area, they have wonderful spices. I love getting spices there. And then a uh, one fourth teaspoon of sage. And then one fourth teaspoon of black pepper. Uh, one fourth teaspoon of dried thyme. I love the smell of that one too. Okay, one fourth teaspoon of the crushed red pepper. This one we're leaving out the um, cayenne pepper. Uh, and then one fourth teaspoon of the coriander. And then if you want to do one fourth of the um, teaspoon of accent, that's of course optional also. So we're going to mix this up for a good minute or so. and then let it rest for about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna mix this one up and I'll be back after if they both rest. I'm gonna give you the ingredients of one more um, Jimmy Dean sausage and that's the maple. And for that, you would need your 16 ounces of pork, three tablespoons of maple syrup, one teaspoon of salt, and then you're gonna need one half teaspoon of that accent. So the salt's a little bit more, I mean, the salt's the same, but the accent is a little bit more if you prefer to use the, the MSG. Now, because I am not using the MSG and this was already marked down, then I'm not gonna store this in my refrigerator. I'm going to either uh, freeze it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it away in some way. I'm going to probably can it this time. Um, if you want to know how I do that, you can be watching for the next video. Uh, but so uh, the hot one, I'm going to make um, patties with, okay? So you can make the patties and then you can freeze them. Um, or you can divide it up in portions and you can freeze it that way. Or if you want to know how to can it, you can always watch my next video. Now I'm going to, uh, the way I'm going to do this next step, um, I'm going to flatten this out, make my uh, patties, I'm going to flatten this out to about a half of an inch and then I'm going to use um, a cannon lid to make my patties. You can also use a biscuit cutter and that would be fine too. That way you just have perfectly round ones. If you don't want to use either one of those, you can always just roll it in a little ball and then smash it. But when you do it like that, you have a really good 
biscuit size, grand biscuit size patty. And always use a smaller cookie cutter if you prefer. For the bigger uh, patties that I'm going to be making, it's probably going to be four. And that's probably going to be uh, perfect for my pint size jar that I'm going to use. On the regular, I'm going to um, just keep it as a ground. So, I'm not gonna make patties with it. You can use the ground for sausage gravy. You can use it in recipes for uh, soups or, my goodness, what all you use, a, a scrambler, uh, just whatever that is, so. Now, if you're going to freeze this, I'm sure you know how much, how long a good uh, freeze time is for sausage. If you're going to can it, it's going to be good for about a year. Okay, so that is how uh, you make sausage. Super easy. Don't be intimidated. You can do it. And uh, join us on our next video if you would like to know how I'm going to can it. Until next time, keep looking to the east. Bye-bye.